morning. It's uh, nearly half seven and we're off out on our morning stroll. Aren't we, Bear? It's beautiful out. You can see the mist and uh, on there's not frost but there's lots of little dew drops on absolutely everything. It is so pretty. It's a silhouette day. So I'm excited for today. Uh, the world looks so beautiful. It always does. It's all those variations. So yeah, me and Bear will be uh, enjoying the, the closer views today, I've forgotten what they're called, but the, uh, what's the name, it won't be the long-term perspectives, will it, in this weather, sure, you can see my car's vanished, uh, they got really close range today, I slept well, Bear was really good, Batty was snuggled down, Elsa slept well, so I'm just looking forward to today now. Oh, and tonight, our first meeting, which will be interesting. Uh, it's the meeting, there's a group set up to talk about life and death and... Uh, it's on WhatsApp, so I'm intrigued to see how it goes. So far, there's, there's three of us, um, as far as I know, that are going to show up. There's a potential of four, because Eval is uh, not able to join us tonight, unfortunately. I'm not sure if Mrs M would be joining us or not uh, because she might have the kids but it will be a really interesting deep and conversation whatever happens and whoever turns up and straight away I got a message on one of my posts advertising this meeting because I think it's important for us all to learn to communicate and talk about these things. And, um, hold on, Bez needs to learn to, that's better. Uh, and he said, a guy talking about the science experiment with rats and mice and how the world now is full of weak females without maternal instincts and uh, weak males without any desire to protect or or hunt and uh, that's his truth I'm not going to deny him his truth I see through that veil and just because it happened in those animals repetitive times in some experiment it doesn't mean anything really compared to humans because they're animals and we're although we're animals too we have a, an inbuilt wiring system that makes us more able to adapt, use tools, communicate uh, and come to a deep level of understanding. We as humans are capable of questioning things and instead of having a fear mentality we're capable of breaking out of that uh, survival instinct. Although it's there in, in our bodies and minds and spirits at a very low level 
very deep inside us. It's not something that we need to live by anymore because it was put in place. Evolution's put it there to help us survive. But those, all these different animals um, don't have the pre-neocortex on, um, on, you know, me and my words, this stroke, it's, the grace I got was amazing, but sometimes I really struggle to think of the words and I kind of know what it, I mean. It's hard to put it out there. So, so we've got this ability to come away from our survival instincts where we're working under like flight, fr fight, freeze and fawn and we're able to bring logic and reason into our lives, into our minds and, and see a higher, wiser perspective and find a different way out. And it's how our brains have evolved and what science has taught us about our brains, the mindfulness and meditation and their meditators and mindful practitioners like monks and things have known for thousands of years that we've got this ability to move past everything that's ever held us back and consciously re like recreate a life for ourselves an understanding of what happened make peace with ourselves and make peace with everything else it's, it's beautiful it's amazing so we don't have to be in that fear mindset it's just evolution and getting to a point where um, we realise that we can take our power back and tune into, well, we have to find a safe space first to do it, but once we find that safe space, we're able to tune in to a part of our brain that wasn't really needed that much back then, but now it's, it's needed on a much wider scale. And when we tune into this part of our, our brains, which is this bit here, I'd say miracles could happen. It's not a miracle, it's science. <laughs> uh, it's, 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 it can't not happen because all our brains are wired for it. Uh, it's just creating that habit to stop being in where we were, uh, which is the fight, flight or freeze, and enter the new phase of uh, being. Well, I'm just noticing there's some huge... Hog marks, can you see? Where a hog's been underneath here and kicked all the dirt across. So, come on, bear. So, he's rather excited with all that at the moment. Anyway, we're going to go and enjoy our wander, our misty morning walk, and uh, hopefully, I'll be back on, on later. It's that time of day and we've just gone past what I call Grandfather's Tooth Rock and we're heading up towards the, uh, the big viewpoint where we get to see over towards our canes and it's mad that today the, the rain has not sounded heavy it's not felt heavy but puddles seem to have appeared since this morning's walk which is cool so it's possible that the ground has soaked in what it can and uh, it's ready to start sitting on top now which is good news for the wells, the wells like mine that are kind of go off the natural water table. They kind of go up with the rain and down when the water table goes down. Luckily, 
I suppose it's luckily. In summer there was still water at the bottom of both the wells, so I'm not worried at all about that. And of course I'm planning my water storage system, which I just need the IBCs and to pick up the guttering. It really is kind of chilly, but not in a very... You know when it's cold, but not a stinging cold? It's just got, got a bit of a chill to the day. That's, that's how it is today. Nothing too major, just a slight chill. And all day, I've not really warmed up. So I've had the fire on and uh, Bear's been inside all day. What are you doing Bear? Apart from when I nipped out to the supermarket and uh, he stayed to take care of all the animals and Batty and Elsa came for the ride in the car. Bear doesn't do car rides, he can't stand getting in the car. Uh, when he's in the car, he's great. Come on, you guys. But, uh, yeah. The getting into a car is not something he wants to ever do. Which is fair enough. He likes wandering instead. He likes his feet on the ground. So, we had a quick trip to Intermarche to pick up a few bits. And I've bought them all a treat for tonight. So they've, they've got a bone each. So hopefully they'll be that busy enjoying the bones. I'll be able to have our online conversation uh, on, I guess, trying to raise awareness and break, uh, break through our fears about living and life and death. Um, in the group that we're doing tonight so if anyone wants to be part of that group please message and I can set that, that up I can add you to the group it's private invitation only because um, it's a private group where people share things so it's not one for public knowledge fairly fairly low um, visibility but much better than it was this morning everything's much greener now because everything seems to be much more happy as the rain, when it, it comes, I think it washes away the sandy coating that seems to be on everything when it's been sunny and warm for a, a little while. So once the rains come, it washes it all away. It gives the greens a little bit more of a vibrancy. And then when you look up and put it against the grey backdrop and things like wow the colours are truly beautiful and amazing so I'm going to head off now and uh, enjoy our, our, our evening stroll and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow